when my soul was speaking through my glistening eye oh how I wish that I could fly past the miles of cornfield and the winding mountain road and play aeroplane with my nieces as fireworks paint the sky and taste a piece of mom's blueberry pie Part of my discovery of the Benedictines was, was realizing that um, my interest in culture, my interest in, in the arts and in music and in composing um, was something that could really be valued in a place like this. And, uh, and, it, and it certainly has been. That's been one of the great joys for me is uh, the Abbot's been very supportive and very encouraging of, uh, of, of my work as a composer. And um, it is something to be done in obedience. Um, it's not something that uh, you, you can do whatever you want whenever you feel like it. There, there has to be a sense of a dialogue that you're having with the abbot. Um, but I think, you know, if, if you're serious about uh, if you're serious about a particular type of work, there's room in this environment uh, for that to develop and that to grow. And uh, and I think also the the the, the pace of the monastery. Um, there's, a, there's a, um, a phrase that I've heard, holy leisure. And uh, you know, for, for a person who's interested in the arts, like I am, holy leisure uh, is, is needed for a, for a person who works in the arts to think things through, to, um, to be imaginative, to be creative. You need that time, you need a, uh, some space to be creative. And um, so I've been able to do that here. Um, you know, with, we have the structure of the community which I think is, is helping to ground me. You know, artists are sort of known for being all over the place. So it's nice to, to have a community that has a, a structure, you know, that, that, that roots you, but at the same time, that root, rooting shouldn't be deadening. You know, it shouldn't be stifling. And, uh, and St. Vincent has definitely not been that way for me. So uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that.